Today, we're going to walk through using the Vue SSG template for Server Stack and how we can use JetBrains Rider to get the best possible developer experience. The Vue SSG template brings the well known and loved Vue framework together with the high performance and rapidly growing developer tooling of Vite. Combined in this template with a curated list of plugins and integration, we get an extremely productive static site generator or SSG that makes up the JavaScript and markup components of a great Jamstack application. Jamstack is a broad type of architecture that separates JavaScript, API, and markup. That is, it promotes statically generating your markup, enhancing your site or application with JavaScript, and using well defined HTTP APIs for backend operations. This clean decoupling allows for greater portability and flexibility, and it's something ServiceStack supports by ensuring the APIs you build are always well-defined and interoperable, thanks to its message-centric design. To get started with this template, we'll want a few things installed. The .NET 6 SDK, Node 16 LTS with NPM, and the ServiceStack.NET X tool. If you don't have the X tool installed, you can install it using the command .NET tool install GX. For this walkthrough, we're going to be using JetBrains Rider, as it has great support for Vue and .NET development in one IDE, but Rider is not required to use this template. To create a new project using the Vue SSG template, we're going to use the command x new space Vue hyphen SSG space my view app where view-ssg is the template name and myViewApp is the name of our project. Alternatively, you can use the jamstacks.net website and provide a name to click and download the view-ssg template. Opening the new myViewApp solution file with Rider, we will see the four c -sharp projects of our server stack API backend, but not our view-ssg application. Since we want to easily work on both, we'll want a way to navigate between the API projects and the UI project while staying in the same Rider instance. Rider lets us do this by attaching our UI folder to our .NET solution. This can be done by right clicking on the solution name and selecting add attach existing folder, choosing the UI folder from the root of our newly created MyViewApp project. This gives us a clear view of the four .NET projects of our Server Stack API backend, along with the UI folder for developing our Vue SSG frontend. Opening the package.json file in the UI folder, we will see a series of scripts we can use to automate some common tasks. For example, to take advantage of Vite's hot module replacement or HMR, we can simply run the dev npm task right from the package.json file in Rider. Using the dev npm script will watch the UI folder for any changes and refresh our browser automatically for immediate feedback. So that our front end app can communicate with our back end, we'll want to run our server stack API project locally and we can do this quickly using Rider. Rider automatically detects the .NET project's launch settings.json and populates a run configuration for the app host so we can quickly run or debug without any additional config. We now have our Vite dev process running on localhost 3000 and our server stack API at localhost 5000 for HTTP and localhost 5001 for HTTPS. Every change to a file in the UI folder will automatically refresh our browser, enabling a rapid iteration cycle when making front end changes. If you prefer the command line rather than the writer run configurations, a similar great workflow can be achieved by just running multiple terminals, which can also be run from within Rider itself. Here we can see running .NET Watch under the API My View App directory and npm run dev under the UI directory, enabling us to make backend or frontend changes as needed with a quick iteration cycle. Since this Vue SSG template is using Tailwind for CSS, we will want to do one more thing to make styling our UI even easier. Rider has an optional plugin for Tailwind providing intelligent support for Tailwind CSS and autocomplete from within Vue components. To install this plugin, open up the plugin menu from settings or a quick action and search for Tailwind on the plugin marketplace. Once the plugin is installed, let's make a style change to the menu background color. Here we can see our changes are reflected instantly in our browser and we're getting autocomplete from the Tailwind CSS plugin in Rider. Next, we'll jump to our backend and change the hello service response to provide a friendly suffix. 
Thanks to the .NET 6 hot reload combined with feet hot module replacement, this is instantly usable from our Vue SSG application. The Jamstack templates also come with a bookings and to-do example to show how you can create UIs and integrated services in a productive way. Links to related code can be found at the bottom of each page and more information about the templates can be found in the features link in the navigation. Now that we have made changes that we want, we can prepare our Vue SSG application for deployment using the npm publish script. This will statically generate our UI front end using the Vite SSG tool declared in our npm dev dependencies and output the results to our www root directory in our API app host project. This gives you the option to host both your UI app and the API in the same server for .NET. But for best result, we recommend shipping the www root folder to a content delivery network or CDN. This leverages the flexibility of the Jamstack architecture since our UI is static HTML with JavaScript only for enhancements and interactivity. CDN providers have nodes duplicate the static content geographically, meaning page load times will be optimized globally to be fast regardless of the user's location. This also means your API server is only doing the dynamic work it absolutely is required to do, enabling high scalability for lower costs. Additionally, search engine optimization or SEO will also perform well by default, since no JavaScript is needed to get access to the content used by the search engine crawlers. The template also comes with built-in GitHub action templates that can build and deploy the UI to GitHub pages and your API to any Linux host with Docker Compose via SSH. This is what we do at ServerStack to host our template demos with DigitalOcean and it costs under 50 cents a month per template with a dedicated container running an API for each of our templates. For more details on this deployment pattern, check out the deployment with GitHub Actions post that's featured in the template itself. This can be found under the blog section where write-ups for this tutorial and others are available including this template with Visual Studio. That's it for this video, I hope it's been useful and if you have any feedback or suggestions for any of our templates you can let us know in the comments. You can also join the community in our GitHub discussions and Discord, the links are in the description. And as always, thanks for watching.